most incredible. Two, two. DJ Sour Mill. One, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Let's go. It's the LA Leakers on Power 106. Yes, sir. You're just incredible. Sour Milk. Hottest producer in the world, man. Take heat. <laughs> you ain't lying. What's good? Welcome to the... He's, he's too humble to say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's yeah, on fire right now, man. No, yeah. just go ahead. Say it one time, man. Say, I'm the hottest motherfucker out. I just want to hear it come out of your mouth. Oh, my. I can't even do that. <laughs> he going he gonna to let the work speak for itself. Yeah. He going to let the work speak for I itself. Like that. Now, production with Block Boy JB, Moneybag Yo, Drizzy Drake, Travis Scott. I mean, the, the hits are just, I mean, the 2018. Just talk to right. us about this year for you, man. Yeah, I mean, like, everything was unexpected. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to explain it. Right. Like, Everything that I did wasn't, like, planned out. You know what I'm saying? It just was hard work, just staying consistent, you mm-hmm. know. That, and, and that's, like, the number one, like, tip I can give anybody. Stay, stay consistent, it. you know what I'm saying? Stay consistent with your craft. Stay with, stay consistent within your craft, you know what I'm saying? And stay consistent with what you're doing, period. So it's just well, like, you, like, you say it was unexpected, but was this plan A for you still, though, being a producer? Was it plan A? No, nah, no, nah, plan A was 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 going to school and you know finishing it because like that's what I was doing all along you know what I'm saying like it's my senior year in school so I've been doing it with four years now you know what I'm saying so I just kept kept uh, making beats while I was in school I was DJing on the side too so like playing they was was finishing school getting a degree and go work you know what I'm saying that's crazy. but I always knew in my mind I wasn't gonna work for somebody else you know what I'm saying I knew I was gonna work for myself yeah, yeah, yeah. be a boss be, I ain't know it was gonna be like this you know what I'm saying so it's Damn, amazing, that's man. That's crazy. And 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 what's kind of your is is there a is there a I don't want to say formula. That's the wrong word. But you know, like when you get in the studio and start creating, is there a certain way that you like to approach the beat first? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I start out with the melody. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, so, I mean, for like all the producers listening, I start out with the melody. Then I just add, like you know, like I make a melody out the drum. So. Okay. You know and w- w- are were you saying that you're still in school now? You're still yeah, yeah I'm school? still in college. In my senior year. So is there a part of you that just wants to be like, yo, I'm so on right now. Fuck school. <laughs> nah, <laughs> not really. Honest, to be told, now nah, because I mean it's fun in school. You know, yeah. I mean, okay, so you actually enjoy. It. Yeah, it's. I mean, like I was doing. I was like doing this before the music happened in school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was just like that guy in school already. So damn, that's I so mean, crazy. When that happened, it just kind of like made it like add fear to the fire. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So. I think I think it's important for our young listeners to hear that too. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah, and for learn sure, to you sure. know make sure they stay focused, and uh, that gives a lot of people a lot of hope, man. Yo, real talk, following and, and in your footsteps. I mean, being in school and being you know a very successful producer. Right. What's your day consist of? Like, what's what's a normal day for you? Like me, like on school day. Yeah, I right, wake up, go Chick Fil A. <laughs> go to uh, go to class, uh, be in class for a little minute. Then you know, got a little break in between. Yeah, go to the crib, chill, go back to class. Then by then I should be done. So you know, just kick it then. You yeah, know, cook up, might cook up here and there. But okay, then, you know, I'm chilling Damn. till the weekends come. Then like I DJ for uh, first flight. You know, this the group, my group, I'm part of. So. Uh-huh. You no, know, we throw like all the crazy parties in Tennessee. All the college crazy college yeah, parties. I bet those in are lit. I just yeah. have a feeling these parties are out of here. <laughs> yeah, it goes down. And, so. and I mean, Memphis has always had a you know um, a really dope music scene, right? Um, but speak to us about how that's changed as of late with with you know Drake really embracing right. that scene. Man, it's really like you know what, what Drake did was like. It was unreal for Memphis, you know, because, like, what people don't see, like, Memphis was so divided, and it, it showed in the music. So, it was uh-huh. like, man, what Drake did was bring the city together. They say, you know, block and take. He did this. You know, they made it. Yeah. Hmm. We can make it, too. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying? We, it's, it's people in Memphis who you would have never thought would have worked working now. So, it's crazy. That's super dope. You know, it's a blessing. People you know, getting so jobs and really, like, building a living off of this. Right. Dope. Helping their family. You know, then it, it just carry on to what Drake did for me. You know, I'm blessing my family now. You know what I'm saying? Block blessing his family. Man. You know, it ain't no more struggling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So crazy. And how did you and Block first connect? Did y'all, y'all go way back? Or? Yeah, go way back. Right. Like, we was homies before anything. We was kicking it in the hood before anything. So, he stayed on the street over from me. We just, you know, was kicking it. And just, you know, everybody in the neighborhood was just doing their thing. And he just wanted to 
to do the rap. So I kind of like believed in him in a sense. A lot of folks didn't believe in him. I remember like folks used to laugh at him, you know what I'm saying, or uh, doubt him and stuff. So right. you know, like I made his first mixtape cover, like it was probably like 2014. Crazy. Wow. I made a mixtape cover. Told wow. him to drop the tape. He didn't drop it till like a year later or something like that. Around this. Wow. So. So when when he started rapping, you were already producing. Yeah, I was. I already had a buzz in Memphis. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like from the money bag to the black youngster, and yeah. you know, I just had like a buzz already because you know, like gang gang, the record was going crazy mm-hmm. around the time. It was okay. just like it was perfect timing in a sense. It was yeah. Like when me and Block started doing it, kind of like just put a little attention on him, and you know, he just he 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 gifted. He had it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So when he got that attention, it just struck. And it just went crazy. It just like we was getting phone calls from everybody, man. Like that's wild. Everybody was hitting us up all on IG, and you know what I'm saying, DMing us. So, man. And, and was was there a certain uh, album for you that that did it for you growing up, like that made you want to produce or, or made you want to become an artist? Yeah, there's a lot of them. I mean, true be told, I used to listen to a lot of Dolph. You know oh, word? Saying? Yeah, okay. in high school, like, because Dolph had like Dolph and got it to be real. You know, yeah. they had they had like that. That, that street stuff, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It was coming from Memphis, so they had a lot of influence. Also, like Don Tripp, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, Don Tripp right. had a big influence on me. Like yeah. Don Tripp, uh, who else? Zed Zilla, yeah. Zed Zilla, for sure. It was like a couple more rappers, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it's just like Memphis music influenced me to make music, the yeah, truth yeah, be told. Yeah. See, seeing that people from your city could be successful made you kind of want to pursue it as well right? yeah for sure i mean it, it wasn't even about them being successful because at the, at the time nobody was going platinum in memphis you know what i'm saying like post was getting on the radio locally yeah it yeah, wasn't yeah. it wasn't it wasn't being in rotation you right. know what i'm saying okay. so it just was kind of like they was making music to get on and it was motivating me to make music you know so yeah. when they got on it motivated me to keep going too you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah. so was it dope. was like a chain reaction that's super Now surreal. rotation seems to be automatic for this man. Yeah, for now real. it's like automatic. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, we going crazy with it. We talked a little bit off air about nonstop and first hearing that off of Drake's project and seeing how that's moving and the video and uh-huh. the look alive joint, man. We right. we just wish you much continued success, bro. Like right. you got a great head on your shoulders. You you know, it's dope to hear your full story, man. And we thank you for coming up to the lift off. No, I really appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For yeah, real. Always, thank you. Man. Any yeah. any plans of doing like your own project? I feel like you're in with yeah, everybody. You know we we might just, have to tuck a couple to the like we, these we're gonna keep these. We was just discussing that today, man. You know, we working on something there. Show that I it's see gonna it, be man. big, you know. We 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 ain't just gonna put out no anything from no <laughs> streams. We gonna make it like real music and art. Of course, you know what I'm saying. You it's already like, know where you gotta come first, though. <laughs> you already know we gonna go crazy Run with that here. as soon as it's ready, bro. As soon as it's ready, straight up. Take key, thank you, man. Yeah. Appreciate you coming through. It's a lift off on Power 106. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.